Hello friends, this video on light part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about image formation by convex lens. The way we discussed about mirrors, now we are going to discuss about lens. Now remember one thing that the image formed by a lens can be seen from the side opposite to that of the object. So when you have the object here, so this is the lens and then you get to see the image here. So you actually need to see through the lens in order to view the image. So in case of a convex lens, you see the image formation is going to be similar to that of concave mirror. So you see, as you bring the object nearer to the mirror, what happens? The size of the image keeps increasing. However, the image is still inverted. Now, when you bring the object more near to the mirror, you see the image becomes all the more enlarged. And finally, when the object is very close to the mirror, you actually get to see a, a, a highly enlarged image but in this case it is also erect so you see this is where the object is and then you have the mirror and you have to be on the other side of the mirror you know i'm sorry lens you have to be on the other side of the lens to view the image so i hope that it's clear from where you have to see this is your object in front of the object is the lens and then on the lens itself you can see the image like this so this shows that uh, in case of convex lens, the images formed can be of a variety of types. Like uh, you can have diminished inverted image, you can also have the image of the same size and inverted, you can also have enlarged image, you can even have enlarged erect image. So you have the possibility of having both real images as well as virtual images. So both options are open. A variety of image types are formed with a convex lens. So when you look at uh, the uh, review for image formation by convex lens, you see that it is almost similar to that of mirror. Now, there are a few differences in terms of the terminologies, like in case of mirror, we just talk about one principal focus. There is just one focus. But in case of lens, there are two focus, that is F1 and F2. That's because here you have, it, a lens is nothing but a combination of two mirrors. So this surface will have one focus, this surface will have another focus somewhere here. So that is why they have been named as F1 and F2. So please do not get confused with that. And wherever we have used 2 F1, that is nothing but the center of curvature, C1. Or similarly, whenever wherever you have 2 F2, that is nothing but C2 or the center of curvature of the second surface. So that's how looking at this, I think it is, should be pretty much clear to you by now. So let us quickly look at the image formation by a concave lens. So in a concave lens, we always find uh, erect images, diminished images, and you know, these are virtual images. And that, that's why we get to see them on the other side of the lens. So that's one speciality of the concave lens. So that way, concave lens behavior wise is very much similar to that of the convex mirror. So again, a quick review on image formation. So when you look at the uh, review of image formation by concave lens, so every time, just like a convex mirror, you see that diminished image, virtual erect images are formed. It is just that if the object is very far away, so the image will be all the more diminished. But anyways, wherever the object is located, image will always be smaller in size than the object. So now let us look at some of the interesting things. Now, if I give you this example of a magnifying glass, what do you think? Which lens is this? So now can you answer this question? So looking at this image, what do you think? What kind of image is formed? An enlarged image is formed, right? So do you think that you will ever be able to get an enlarged image with a concave lens? No, because concave lens always produces diminished image. So obviously this is nothing but a convex lens. So because we know that convex lens, because concave lens produces diminished images, but convex lens produces enlarged images. So this is a convex lens. So see, this is how you have to uh, judge that which type of lens is used in uh, a particular uh, purpose. Thank you. 
Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.